Hello everyone, this is PZSN here. Um, I'm recording this video with my iPod Touch. I'm probably going to upload this to my main channel just because that is obviously the channel I have that with the widest re um, audience. But this is just going to be a real quick video, basically of me asking you guys a question. So recently, I never actually did an unboxing for this, but my Twitter followers do know about this. Recently, I did buy an Apple Wired keyboard. Why did I buy an Apple Wired keyboard when I don't have a Mac? Well, because Apple Wired keyboards do work with PCs, and I've been using this, here it is right here, um, for, uh, what is it, like two weeks or something like that, two or three weeks, it's worked great. The only problem I've had, but I was able to easily fix it, there is no print screen key, so I just mapped this key to be my print screen key, and that's very easy to do with some um, third party software. Um, <clears throat> Yes, but um, I do really, really want, you know, some of these up here. I would love to be able to adjust my volume like this. I'd love to be able to eject the um, disk drive with this button here. I'd love to be able to adjust the brightness over here. You know, just that just makes sense. I mean, but um, the only problem is that, uh, well, Apple hasn't released drivers for that. Actually, I take that back. They have, but it's for, but um, it comes included with Macs. You buy, you use it when you set up boot camp. And this is exactly what I'm getting at. Um, is it, is what you consider to be a good idea for me to actually install boot camp drivers on a dedicated PC, a Dell, what is it, Dell Dimension E521, I believe it is, it's a Dell, and I'm, uh, it has Windows XP Media Center Edition on it, and, um, that is the question, would it be a, would it be a bad idea, or would it be a good idea, rather, to install, um, to install Boot Camp? drivers on there it did list on Apple's website I haven't done it yet I started to download it and then I read this that it is required that you have bootcamp 2.1 installed on the machine already so that is the big thing I'm not too sure why that is uh, frankly all I'm asking is that would it be absolutely a terrible idea to um, install bootcamp drivers on my PC um, yes so that is really about it guys um thanks for watching and um yeah and also if you would actually like to buy yourself one of these keyboards because i have to admit something with these keyboards is just uh, it's it just i something about these keyboards i just type really fast on i like this i like this design um i like the design of the keys i like how they're spaced out that's probably what it is I like how it's spaced out. I love how it's ultra thin. If you guys have never looked at the side of one of these. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty thin. Um, and uh, if you're wondering, the main reason why I bought this, I'm just going to get into uh, this real quickly in case some of you guys are interest are um, wondering. Um, but the main reason why I actually bought this was, um, well, because this year in school, we were issued laptops, as you can see right here. And uh, I am going to quickly plug this into here just to show you that um, this does work with Windows um, it may go a little crazy because these laptops are so restricted that uh, did it even do it I don't know. oh there it goes okay I was gonna say wow um, yeah you heard it recognized it and um, it might say down here that there's new hardware plugged in nope it doesn't because you can see the caps lock is working um, and yeah, this keyboard does work flawlessly, but the thing that I didn't really consider when I bought it from Best Buy, well, look at it. That's the keyboard. That is my arm. Can you see that all the way there? It's a little shorter than my forearm. I hope you guys can see that. Which makes this thing not very practical to carry around at school. You see, one thing I really hate about laptop keyboards, um is the fact that every manufacturer that well at least Dell does I don't I haven't really paid much attention to the other ones but they put these ramps on the sides of the keys 
what this does, it does actually um, make entering my, yes, my password in, which is a straight shot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to get into it. I can just, it's also like a slide to unlock type deal. Um, but at the same time, when it comes to actually typing, I find myself making a lot of typos, but with these spaced out keys on the Apple keyboard, it's harder to make typos. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Much harder to make. Oh, there I typed an M. That's brilliant. I do sometimes um, misplace my finger on keys. That is an actual thing that just for some reason happens with me. Caps lock works great. Um, but again, I the main purpose of this video is, is it possible for me to actually install drivers on, you know, boot camp drivers on here? And, um, please just let me know this, guys, because it is something that I would really like to be able to take advantage of this eject button. As you can see, when I press it, nothing happens. In fact, in that mapping software I was talking to you guys about earlier, it didn't even recognize this key. I, it said, okay, press the key you want to map. I pushed this key, nothing happened. Nothing happened. This key is like, Windows doesn't even see this key. It doesn't even see it, that it's part of the keyboard. And the same thing, I believe, goes with the FN key, but I think that is normal because FN stands for function, and, you know, function doesn't really do anything on normal keyboards either except, you know, give you secondary options. But, yeah, that's really kind of strange. In fact, I don't think I've tried pressing and holding function and then doing that. I might try that and see if it recognizes it there. But, yeah, it's just what I'm wondering. Is it a good idea to um, do that. I am actually thinking about, um, yeah, it is typing. I am actually thinking about one of these days actually trying this out sort of on the go, like, you know, seeing how, if it's too cumbersome to carry around. It shouldn't be. I gotta end this video. It shouldn't be because it is very lightweight, as you can probably see right here. This is what this is all I'd look like. I'd obviously wrap the cable up, but you know, I'd just be going around, or I don't know how I'd carry this. Probably just like this. And I mean, it weighs nothing. <laughs> so there's another keyboard down there. Yeah, that's obviously a little heavier than this, and this is even aluminum. Alright, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, just please answer my question, and that would be great for you guys. So thanks for watching, and um, adios.